It's an operation of a Triumph Tiger 800 XCX. So 20 inch tires, 18 inch rear tire. It's got a top case, it's got side bags on it as well. Got a ram out for the phone. There's a charge cable for an iPhone. And under the rear passenger seat is a USB jack if you want to change out the charge cord. Fuel cap. Pretty much take the standard key. It needs to come out of the ignition. Give it a twist and it opens. Holds about four and a half gallons. Good for two, 250 or so miles of range. Uh, one thing about this bike is the headlight comes on when the ignition comes on. So keep that in mind. If you leave the key switch on for 10 minutes or so without the engine started, it uh, could drain the battery enough. Um, you got several controls on the left side here. You got your turn sails that self cancel. A quick uh, click of the turn sail just gives it a couple seconds. If you do a little bit longer, it will stay on and self cancel after you do a turn or release the brake. Uh, heated grips. Uh, three different temperatures of the heated grips, high beam, low beam. This is the uh, accessory lights here. It's got the Baja Designs lights. Go on and off with that button. Um, your ride modes, there's five different ride modes. If you hit that button there, change between the modes. Um, Off-road, Off-road Pro turns off ABS, traction control, everything. Rain is like limits um, your throttle input. There's a normal road, and you could just let it time out and it will select the mode. Uh, cruise control, just like a car, hit set at the speed you're going, it will uh, display your speed. And if you hit the brakes, the clutch, um, or back off the throttle, it will uh, cancel the turn cell. So that's how you cancel it. The resume, you push up, and the change of speed while riding, negative and positive. So it goes up, I think, half mile an hour steps. Uh, the display changes depending on the ambient light conditions, your neutral, your RPMs, the speed, your fuel, there's about three quarter fuel. Uh, return it with about the same fuel as when you got it. You can see right now it's on the fuel mode, shows your miles per gallon and your range. So with three quarter tank, it's predicting about three quarter or about 175 miles. Of course that changes, depends on how you ride. Uh, this is a multifunction start and kill switch. Um, this brings all the menus up if you want to play with those. There is a joystick right here that cycles through the modes and that's how you'd also reset the trip odometer if you want to do, do so. Got to pull the clutch and then you can push the run switch and start right up. Uh, windshield's adjustable. Just push forward and move up. There's several different clicks. Uh, the lock to steering, just like pretty much most other motorcycles. Uh, turn to steering all the way to the left, give it a jiggle, and it will go into that nine o'clock position, which locks your steering down. Uh, so it's all secure. Uh, moving on to the back. Uh, there's a light bar, there's a keyhole right below the the, um, the tail light. And if you turn that, it will release the seat. Let me see if I can do this. Put that keyhole and it pops the passenger seat up. Registration, there's the owner's manual. If you wanna read up on operation of the modes and such of the motorcycle, uh, you got a tube and tubeless style repair kit with CO2 cartridge, a CO2 inflator, basic tools if you need to tighten the mirrors and such. Um, the seat, the driver's seat is adjustable, pulls right back, and you can see there's these pair of bars, uh, very much like the BMW style, and if you move this to this notch here, you gotta do the pair of them, you can move it to the higher position. Battery is located under here. And the seat needs to uh, be engaged with the, the mechanism in here so it locks into place. So make sure it's locked in place. Same with the passenger seat. There's a pair of pegs. Make sure it's locked in place before riding off. Uh, the case is on it. 
It's got the side bags that work pretty much the same. The side bags are the Triumph branded uh, cases that are made by Givi, so you use the Triumph key. Top case is a case I've had for a lot of years, and it has a Sidewinder Givi lock. So you can see right here, if it's in the 12 o'clock position, you can unlatch, release, and just latch. And you know, it can stay like this, it's like a door door unlocked on your car. Uh, if you want to secure the top case, you turn that to the three o'clock position, click that down, and then back up, and now it's locked, can't come off. If you want to remove the case, back to three o'clock, and go ahead and just lift this, and it pops right off the mount. And to put it back on, just let it drop and click. Uh, same goes with the side cases. There's these small indicators Make sure they're both green to indicate that it's locked into the pannier racks. Uh, pretty important, you don't want those falling off. So again, leave it unlocked like that, however you like. And of course, when starting the scooter or the motorcycle, make sure it's in neutral, pull the clutch, and that's how you start it. Kill switch, side stand, uh, in gear will uh, shut the motorcycle down as well. Thanks for watching.